A very pleasant day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Auto Review, I'm Ron de los Reyes and today we're coming to you from the beautiful Dos Palmas Resort in Palawan and this is an island resort and very popular for uh, tourists and uh, of course we came here on an all new Isuzu Mu-X test drive. We started in uh, Puerto Princesa City and then went to uh, Sabang Beach where we left our vehicles for the night and then just this morning we drove once again to the Honda Bay here in Palawan and uh, we took a one-hour boat ride and uh, also did some uh, sightseeing of several islands in this area in Palawan. Of course, the MUX is a new offering from uh, Isuzu Philippines Corporation and we'll know more about this vehicle later on in the show. In the meantime, let's take a look at the latest in motoring on our Auto News Update. Scandinavian Motors Corporation, distributor of Volvo cars, recently celebrated its 20th anniversary in the Philippine automotive industry. Founded in 1994, Volvo Philippines has delivered the most dependable and safest rides for two decades. The brand was also recognized for numerous awards, including the prestigious Volvo Diamond Award. The award is given to Volvo Philippines' performance in vehicle sales, parts and service operations, competitive positioning, and customer satisfaction. Known to be a car bearing the leading safety technology, Volvo has created innovations that have proven to be beneficial to the motoring world, such as the three-point safety belt, a life-saving invention that most car manufacturers use today. Inspired by Volvo's vision of a crash-free world where nobody gets killed or seriously injured by year 2020, Volvo Philippines adopted its own version of Volvo 2020 to give more people the opportunity to own a premium vehicle with the brand's 2020 Platinum program. In other news, Toyota has finally released its vision of the future. Their long-awaited 20 years in the making fuel cell vehicle or FCV called Mirai. The Toyota Mirai, Japanese for future, now has pre-production versions of the vehicle which will help Toyota in ushering a future where hydrogen fuel eliminates the motoring industry's dependence on fossil fuels. The Mirai is similar to the Prius or the Camry Hybrid as it runs on essentially the same hybrid system. Toyota replaced the combustion engine with a fuel cell stack and hydrogen tanks in producing 151 horsepower and 247 of torque from the electric motor, 153 horsepower from the fuel cell stack and top speed of 111 miles per hour in 9 seconds. Aside from its technical wizardry, zero emissions and bold styling, the Mirai aims to still be a regular car. The Toyota Mirai will be available by fall of 2015 with only 200 units produced for sale in California to qualified buyers who can prove they live and work near a hydrogen fuel station. Honda Cars Philippines Incorporated has opened additional Honda accessory corners at Honda Cars Alabang and Honda Cars Global City as the brand continues to provide its customers an enhanced driving enjoyment and ownership experience. The expansion offers accessibility to car owners who love to equip their vehicles with original Modulo and Mugen accessories. Honda has been working with these partners to give customers wide selections to improve the look and feel of their cars. Mugen is the, which was established way back in 1973. 
uh, we Honda and the Mugen are in partnership, especially in field of racing and also uh, mainly exterior accessory parts for all the Honda vehicles. And uh, although they are uh, independent uh, customized parts manufacturers, so we are in very uh, tight relationship with Mugen uh, to build a more uh, racy image of the Honda vehicle. And on the other hand, uh, Mudulo is a Honda's genuine accessory brand, uh, which is uh, not, not as much racy as Mugen, but uh, which en en enhances the sporty image of Honda vehicles. That's, that's Modulo. We have originally started this uh, accessory corner, Mugen and Modulo accessory corner, in San Honda Cars San Pablo and also Honda Cars Green Hills. And this morning we have uh, started in Honda Cars Alaban, and this is the fourth dealer, Honda Cars Global City. And uh, eventually, uh, all of the 33 uh, Honda dealership network will have similar setup regarding the Modulo and the Mugen accessory corner. And so goes our Auto News Update, Auto Review. We'll be back with more. Stay with us. Zuzu D Max. Here now is our Isuzu portion. Isuzu Philippines Corporation or IPC staged the much-awaited first Isuzu Buex Media Ride and Drive in Palawan. This is the third time in almost 10 years that IPC has staged a test drive event for its vehicles in Palawan. The first two being for its best-selling Crosswind in 2004 and 2012. The test drive was meant to showcase the exciting and luxurious features of the Isuzu Muex, introduced only last September. Upon arriving at the airport, we were welcomed by five Muex units, and it seemed everyone had wanted to be the first to sit behind the steering wheel. Among the latest Isuzu finds is the scenic Sheridan Organic Farm in Sabang, where we had lunch of mostly organic food and fresh vegetables. We then proceeded inland, traversing winding roads that cut across rainforests with views of natural foliage and rock formations. At the end of the route lay Sheridan Hotel, which is a beachfront lifestyle rivaling that found on the Philippines' best seaside destinations. Then there was a boat ride to the Puerto Princesa Underground River National Park. During the famous underground river, which is now one of the world's new seven wonders of nature, should be in one's must-do list. Most of the participants also opted to join the Palawan Mangrove Tour, a chance to see one of the world's oldest mangrove sanctuaries 
and other exotic animals. The second day allowed us to get to know more about the Muex as we drove to the Honda Bay port, nicknamed in chess as the Isuzu Bay, just for the bay. The all-new Isuzu Muex made all the drivers more confident in driving to the destination as the new SUV provided luxury and convenience also bearing Isuzu values of durability, reliability and fuel efficiency. Honda Bay was our takeoff point to a relaxing boat cruise to Dos Palmas. We had a chance to talk to IPC executives during our stay at the famous beach resort. Um, Palawan is uh, one of the uh, most popular resort site and the uh, um, SUV is uh, in uh, other words a uh, leisure vehicle. So uh, 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 we'd like to use uh, uh, Mu X also as a resort vehicle RV. RV. Many of them are willing to get the, their hands on the new Susu Mu X. The whole range of uh, customers uh, from uh, the previous old, just purely old generation of uh, Isuzu users, now we're hitting the younger market, the whole demographics of uh, SUV users. More than because this is a very nice place to conduct a test drive because they have on roads, they have dirt roads, they have uh, a little bit of rough roads, so everything is here. You can really test drive uh, even a four-wheel drive vehicles. Yeah, it's uh, more on a family car where it can be used as business or as a an outdoor uh, uh, vacation by the entire family because it it's, has a seven-seater capacity. We adapted the old uh, Mu7 or the Altera. Next week, we bring you more about the Isuzu Mu X test drive in Palawan. Uh, please come to our showroom and experience our uh, uh, new vehicles driving feeling by uh, our demonstration vehicle. Come and see. Uh, our new Mu X has all the features that a luxury car has. The exterior design of the vehicle is not only for Asian taste, but I think it's also good for global market. East meets West at Berjaya Makati Hotel as it offers you a taste of oriental delights and the luxuries of the city. This urban hub is at the heart of the Makati CBD, giving you easy access to shopping malls, convention centers, and cultural attractions. Experience the charms of the city only at Berjaya Makati Hotel.
Volkswagen Philippines has staged the second leg of the Fuel Economy Challenge together with its partner, Pilipinas Shell. Aimed at highlighting Volkswagen's highly efficient, eco-friendly, turbocharged diesel or TDI engine variants and its equally powerful and economical TSI petrol engines, the second fuel eco run included people from the media and Volkswagen car owners of the Polo, Turan and the Beetle. The teams filled up their fuel tanks at the Shell station at Eslex and they continued the fuel economy challenge all the way to Lipa City in Batangas. The event proved that features of Volkswagen's TDI engines are fuel economy, low emissions, high torque and outstanding power efficiency while turbo stratified injection or TSI engines offer an enjoyable and involving drive while cutting fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. The computer, it, it tells you when to shift, uh, when to upshift for, I, I, I guess for efficiency. So we follow that when, when the car said shift at the third or fourth, we did that. Uh, I averaged 27.1 uh, kilo kilometers per liter on my Polo. I'm very happy with its efficiency. But I decided, so yeah, let's drive it normally and see what, what kind of mileage it can deliver to the guy under normal use. And uh, I was just shocked na lang that it got, you know, that really good mileage, like 16. But yeah, very, very good mileage. We were very satisfied with the result um, from the Polo of 18 to the Jetta of 29, 27. Uh, we're quite satisfied, but that's just the first leg. So we wanted to do a series, so we'll see. It's nice to see the, the beetle. We have yellow and the red in the parking lot. And uh, we're really a head, a head turner. At the closing program, the winners were announced. Alan Hernandez of FHM and Wayne Tulio of Men's Health registered 30.48 kilometers per liter in their Polo sedan. Paulo Subido of Top Gear and Raul Promeda of STB dominated the Beetle 1.4 TSI automatic category with 16.32 kilometers per liter. Meantime, the auto review team composed of yours truly, Ron de los Reyes and Debian Madrid bested the other teams as they registered 21.94 kilometers per liter with the Turan MPV 2 liter TDI automatic transmission. All right, that was a good run uh, for us. Uh, we did uh, 21.95 kilometers per liter on a two-liter uh, Volkswagen to run. Uh, before, uh, several months ago, when I had it on a test drive on my own, I, I did about 20 kilometers uh, per liter, but now there's an improvement. So uh, it's a longer route that, that we took. So I had 21.95, almost uh, 22 kilometers uh, per liter. So I think uh, if you invest in a car, in a fuel-efficient car like the Turan, or maybe even the, the Polo and uh, the Volkswagen uh, Beetle, I think uh, you will save a lot of money in the long run in terms of uh, expenses uh, for fuel. And at the same time, uh, you have a reliable vehicle as your service. awaits at Playa Tropical Resort Hotel in Curimao, Ilocos Norte. An 8 to 10 hour drive from Manila, this Bali inspired resort promises true paradise. Bask in the beauty of the tropics and experience the charms of Ilocano hospitality. Playa Tropical Resort Hotel, it's worth the long drive.
On to our What's New portion. Honda Cars Philippines has unveiled the new Honda CRV at the Enderon Tent at McKinley Hill in Taguig City. The updated best-selling crossover is the seventh vehicle in Honda's lineup after the Accord, City, Civic, Jazz, and the Brio and Brio Amaze. The new version of the CRB has a lot of new features along with the updated sportier 17-inch alloy wheels, LED daytime running lights, a new front grille, and new front and rear bumper garnish. The CRB's interior is paired with black leather seats with a driver's seat electronically adjustable in eight ways with lumbar support. Intelligent multi-function display which shows useful information like the trip computer and fuel consumption and range and a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment with built-in navigation, hands-free phone connectivity and audio streaming via Bluetooth. CRV is available in 2-liter and 2.4-liter IB Tech engines mated to either a 5-speed automatic with paddle shifters or 6-speed manual transmission. The fourth generation CRV is also the first to have Honda's newest safety feature called Lane Watch, a camera located under the passenger side view mirror which can be activated manually or automatically when you signal right for a turn or lane change eliminating blind spots. For generation by generation, uh, we have improved all the performance of the CRV and I think this is the best CRV we can offer from Honda uh, combined with the uh, drivability, safety features, amenities, and the electric uh, features, everything is inside. Prices range from 1.3 million to 1.673 million pesos. Meanwhile, Ford Philippines has opened its new dealership in Alabang, their largest dealership to date in the country. At 13,000 square meters located along Alabang Sapote Road, Ford Alabang has five floors and is the largest showroom in the Philippines and one of the largest in the ASEAN region. The dealership is also framed after Ford's brand at Retail 2 global design concept. The opening ceremony was led by Kay Hart, Managing Director of Ford Philippines and Ford Motor Company's Vice President of Global Dealer and Consumer Experience, Elena Ford. It's just amazing to finally be here. This is the first time I've ever been to the Philippines. And it's a pleasure to be here. And I love the name of the facility because it's called Dearborn Motors and that's where we're from in Dearborn, Michigan. Owned by Dearborn Motors Incorporated, the new Ford dealership has a two-floor showroom that can accommodate 23 vehicles. And that's our show for today. We hope you enjoyed it. And we would like to thank Isuzu Philippines Corporation for making us a part of this test drive of the all-new Isuzu Mu X. And from here at Dos Palmas Resort in Palawan, this is Ron De Los Reyes saying thank you for joining us. Drive safely all the time. We'll see you next week.